Hiya, welcome to Yoga at Home with Julie. For those of you that know me, um, I think I've prepared you that I haven't done any virtual yoga before. So this is my first experiment of um, seeing how this whole, whole thing works. So um, do I do apologise if the um, camera angles are a bit odd or anything like that, but hopefully over the course of the coming weeks, it'll get a bit easier. Um, I just wanted to do a quick intro video. For those of you who are used to me and those of you who maybe are watching this who don't know me, just to let you know how I plan to run the classes and also a few tips on things you can have around you just to make your experience even more enjoyable for, for you at home. So first thing is I'd recommend you find somewhere nice and quiet. Sounds obvious, but for me that's a biggie with having kids running around all the time. So having some peace and quiet and a space to be able to practice my yoga is really important for me. Make sure you've got plenty of room so that you can move around freely on your yoga mat. Preferably have a yoga mat or a non-slip surface to make sure you're not going to slip over. And then try and make the environment as nice as you can. So I've got some lights on, I've got some candles lit, just to make your experience as relaxing as you would like. Um, and then a couple of other tips is if you suffer with any problems with your knees, I strongly recommend you get some padding that you can pop under your knees if we do anything on all fours or, or anything knee or weight bearing. So you could use a cushion. Um, so I've got one of them nearby, or you could have a kneeling pad. If you've got a gardening pad, that would work as well. And then another thing we might work with is some belts. So I've got a yoga belt, but you don't need a yoga belt. You can just get a dressing gown rope or something like that. Just have something nearby that's nice and long that we might be able to use for um, some leg stretches or even arm stretches. And if you want to put on some relaxing music, that's great. I haven't quite worked out how to do that yet, but if I do, then I'll do that as well. So they are my top tips. Um, the other thing to be mindful of is what I plan to do is put together some what I'd call vinyasa flow, some more um, advanced base yoga practices. For those of you who come to my 7.30 class, that'd be targeted at you. Each class will probably be about 30 minutes long. And then what I'll also do is a beginner's level class, which will be much more gentle. So if you want a longer practice, I recommend for those that are more advanced, you start with vinyasa flow and then you can switch to the more gentle, relaxing class. And then what I'll also do is a separate video for everybody, which can be relaxation. So you get a full 30 minutes of flow, then you can switch to a relaxation so you can just lie down and chill out. Or you can go from vinyasa flow to nice, gentle beginners and then relax. So you mix and match up what works for you and hopefully we'll get some live yoga going next week as well. Namaste.